This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs, guys. In this particular video for Cypress, today I'm going to cover that how to call a REST APIs, right? We have different methods like get, post, put, and delete. Different CRUD operations are there. And, uh, but today I'm just going to talk about how to call a get API with Cypress. So Cypress is not only for UI automation, Cypress can be used for end-to-end -end automation with respect to, it can uh, uh, automate, it can call your HTTP uh, request also. Okay, so we have one method that is called cy.request method. And uh, today I'm just going to talk about only uh, get APIs. Okay, so I have three uh, sample, sample dummy APIs that are available with me. So first is that we all know a request rs dot in where uh, it was it will give you the fake api and the sample APIs. you hit this particular any of the api and you will get the response like that and the same api you can hit in your uh, postman also so this is my postman so you let's see you hit this particular let's see page equal to two and uh, you are getting a response in the form of json you are getting some uh, response headers also you are getting some other information like cookies body and all those things second api i have that very simple api you simple like simple use this uh, dummy api flask rest api demo a lot of people are using this api for their practice point of view so product is equal to motorbike and here you will be getting id equal to three motorbike and price is equal to this a simple json we are getting so we will try to fetch some value from this particular json as well you hit this api and you will get the response the third api we are talking about this guy that uh, hero same thing flask rest api give me all the users it will give you the list of all the users so here we are getting a json array over here and in this particular array we have uh, the size is uh, i think five yeah one two three four and five so we will try to validate that okay what are different values are available and then what is the length of this particular array like that okay so very simple uh, three get apis we have and we will try to automate some basic apis so for doing this first you go to cypress documentation and uh, you search for uh, you just go to request you just go to request method over here and this is the syntax they say that okay you simply call the url you can pass the body also you can tell the okay hey which method it is get post put and delete and patch also and there are other options also there are other http methods are available pass the json body okay like that so this is a signature you can simply see that okay cy.request call this particular api url and you will get the response like that and they have given some okay basic examples over here like and it's saying that okay we have uh, they support all these methods get post put delete patch head options all the different http methods you can automate okay and then they have given some examples like that okay like that so we will see how to see that so this is a cy.request method is used to uh, hit the HTTP call. See, make an HTTP request. But cy.visit method to launch the URL in the browser, right? So that's the basic difference between cy.request and cy.visit over here. Now, uh, I have created a separate project over here. Okay, so for UI point of view, I have separate project. And for API point of view, I have separate project, but it's up to you. If you really want to create your uh, API test cases over here, you can create one folder and then you can write the test cases over here like that. But I have created a separate project, separate Cypress project in my Visual Studio code. Then I'll be writing only uh, API related stuff like that. Okay, so it's up to you how exactly you want to maintain. Then uh, under my integration, I have created my API test folder and this is my uh, JavaScript file. Describe an it block I have written. So let's try with uh, this particular API, this motorbike API. We will call this particular API, we will right Now, how to do that? Simple write cy dot, <coughs> Okay, uh, sorry, cy uh, dot, there is a method that is called request method is there. Okay guys, so how we use that? cy dot uh, request method you have to use and pass the URL. Now, the moment cy dot request you call, immediately Cypress will hit this particular API and will try to fetch the response. Then what exactly you want? So simple write one then, and say that okay hey please uh, get the response in this particular response okay in this particular response uh, object or variable like that and then then you start your test like this okay now what you have to do the entire response will be stored in this particular response object and the moment you get the response object you can use this particular response object with your assertion so i'm not 
So I'm going to write some assertions over here directly. So I'm using expect. This is the chai assertion. And then you simply write it. Okay, hey, what you are going to expect? So I simply say that okay, response dot uh, go to its uh, body. Okay, so you have to call response dot body. It means from the body, what you want to fetch? From the body, let's go to product. Okay, from the body, let's go to product. Or let's say from the body, you just check the what is the status. So I simply say that okay status is not part of the body i simply say that okay response dot status i'll be calling you give me the status and this status should be equal to what it should be equal to 200 so i have written one simple test case over here like that okay guys so uh, let's see it is uh, working or not okay so i'm going to open my cypress and uh, we will run it okay from the cypress runner so yep yeah, it's open and now let's call this guy ap <clears throat> get api test.js browser will be launched although you can see the okay in the browser it's not launching over here the right hand section will be blank but you see see awesome it's calling this particular api and we are getting 200 response code which is equal to 200 my test case got passed over here you can see my test case got passed perfectly fine right guys now let's try something else i simply say that okay now you have to expect that response dot uh, body you go to the body and from the body which product okay which product that we have so in the response we got uh, let me go back to postman we have this product array you go to this particular product array okay so this is my body got the product array how many products we have we have only one product so i'll pass zero over here and then i'll write dot has okay dot property method is there and which property you want to validate so let's say i want to check the price of the product so price of the product is 599.99 so i'll simply say that okay give me the price should be 599.99 like this right so let's see this is the second assertion i have written again it will call the api we will get the response the status is equal to 200 from the status i mean from the response you go to the body and go to the first product and should have the property price as 599.99 okay so let's see it is working or not so i'll open this perfect you can see that okay this is 200 price is equal to 599.99 so first it will check that okay yeah property price is there or not so one assertion for price property is there or not and second assertion the value of the price is equal to 599.99 or not <coughs> okay like that so let's take one more example i want to verify that okay the product name so what is the product name that we are getting so let me just quickly go to postman the product name is motorbike so i simply write the product should be motorbike sorry and motorbike is a string so i'll write in quotes like that now let's see my test is running or not yep so product is there first yes and the product is equal to motorbike you can see my test is absolutely working fine guys you can see it over here right awesome so like this you can simply validate that okay now let's take some more examples so i'll do one thing i'll be creating one more it block so that is a simple rest api that we have called it okay like that so let me copy paste this guy and uh, i think this ended over here so let me just remove all these spaces let's copy this guy and now i'll be calling the some some other test case so let's see some other api i'll be calling now my next api is let's see this guy uh users api from heroku app right so how to call that so get api flask for users like this i have written now i'll be changing the url so url is this so i'll be calling the url over here okay now you get the response it should be equal to 200 that is the first thing right now in the response if you observe one thing guys we have the array name as users so i have to write the array name as users over here so i'll directly go to array name as users instead of product go to the users zero it should have the property of what user zero is what username property test underscore one username and the property value is test underscore one it should be there test underscore one right like that 
okay and then i'll go to my product number uh, one the users number one not the product sorry and then it should have that particular property that is id equal to two so let's say i'll write that id should be equal to two so two is non-numeric so i'll be writing like this okay so let's see this particular second test is running or not so you see that okay both the test cases got passed motorbike got passed and users also got passed everything is working fine first it is verifying yeah the username for the first product uh, for the first user username is equal to rest underscore one and for the second uh, user id is equal to two which is absolutely working fine and you can see that okay my both the test cases are absolutely working fine okay similarly you can check that uh, total number of users are there so i simply write that okay fine expect the response dot uh, body dot users right and how many users are there i simply check that okay has dot one method is there length method is there that okay the length should be five because there are you see that id one two three four five it means five users are there under this particular array so let's see the length should be five so see again it's working fine the array length is five perfect you can see it's automatically recognizing internally yeah that's an array the size is five and the length is five over there so this is absolutely working fine now i want to verify that okay this one property should not be there so we have already seen has property okay what if the property is not there so not have property method also you can use that so let's see price is not available so i want to verify that price should not be visible so what i'm going to do that expect okay from what response dot uh, body dot let's say i'll be writing users first user user number zero okay and then i'll be writing not dot have dot property not dot have property which property price property should not be there and exactly price property is not there then you run it and you see that okay yeah again it's absolutely working fine yeah do not have property price so like this also you can simply do that right perfect now this is the second example now let's take one more example so i'll uh, okay so i'll do one thing okay let's take second example third example is that uh, this is the first api that yeah more complex json we are getting over here so i'll be calling this particular with query parameter question mark page equal to two and then there are other techniques also guys we can maintain one base url and everything that i'll tell you later but i'm just putting okay hitting the api directly first of all i'm checking that okay yeah 200 response code and then this time i'm getting what first uh, my data array is this so this is my data array so i'll replace my response dot body data array should have property what let's see my first name should be equal to michelle so first name should be equal to i'll be just copy paste it should be equal to michelle okay fine then the user then go to data one so i'll simply say that okay go to data number one and then has property should be let's see uh whatever let's see uh, email id i'll be verifying this time my email id should be equal to uh let's see this guy whatever okay this guy and the length should be what is the length we are getting we are getting uh, total one two three four five six six okay data so the data length should be six six i don't want to verify any not have property so just remove that guy and let's see it is working or not so perfect see i'll just change the test name this is my for request response api and the users api like that okay and uh, yeah this is a semicolon we have to add okay double quotes we have written double quotes okay now let's see perfect you can see request as api users and all the assertions are working fine like that so likewise guys you can simple use it properly your test cases you can design your test cases very systematically very properly like that right okay so 
that's all for this particular video guys in the next video i'll be telling you okay there are other ways also we have one more the concept is called uh, uh, analysis concept as well as one method is there its method is there okay that is also very useful when we talk about apis in cypress okay how to call with the help of uh, uh, analysis and then you can simple uh, use the its method and then you can write assertion so that will be more useful like that okay and then we will try to write some generic functions and then i'll show you how to use post method put method delete method and then authorization and authentication also so so far what we have done we are just using simple uh, get apis and one thing you need to remember guys that uh, the syntax is like that okay whenever you say okay it's saying that okay the method you have to pass it like this see uh, you see the method and the url you have to pass right now what we are doing we are just passing the url so if you pass in the url in the request call in the request method by default it will assume get method see it's saying make a request using a specific method if no method is defined cypress uses a get method by default okay like this so we are not using any um, yeah so we are not using any see in the cy dot request we are not using any method so by default it will assume that okay that's a, a get call over there right so like this also you can do that now if you really want to pass you can simple pass uh, simple let's see this is a get method and comma okay if you really explicitly you want to write out okay yeah this is a get api you can write get over here like that and again your test is absolutely working fine but it's not compulsory to type but for the if you really want to know that okay yeah this is a uh, which kind of call it is so you simple right this is a, a get call so simple right get comma and then the url and again your test case are working fine tomorrow we will be using post api then i'll be using post method over here like that and what are the different methods you can use these are the method you can use okay perfect so that's all for this particular video guys some more interesting videos are coming with respect to apis okay and then uh, you can simply use any get apis after watching this particular video thank you so much thanks for watching this video guys